Oh. Is that all of them? <laughs> no. Yes. No. You say something. Hello. Oh yeah. Hello. Okay. Oh, there you go. See. <laughs> We're alive. It's a technical Sorry test. Sorry for the burp. I'm going to have a hobnob. Excuse me. Excuse me. We Excuse them what? Snacks. <laughs> snacks with the spoon. But, Brigadier, I hope your body's crowded around inside a tin man. <laughs> what a biscuit. Oh, Johnny, good Joe. Are we going to eat hobnobs? My name's not well. Joe. My name's right. John Pertwee. Pertwee. <laughs> that, that, um, did you watch the episode of Big Time Glass? <laughs> well, I do have a collapsible caravan, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, I actually did start watching them. They're yeah, really good. Avengers in backlocking I like as well. Backlocking. Yeah. Mm. It's a milk chocolate. That's live. they got a Patreon now. Mm. Mm. Do you donate? Do you? Are you part of it? Or? Um, I should be. <laughs> um, um, wait till I get paid and then I want to do the top tier one, which is like $10 a month. It's annoying that you can only do Patreon in dollars. In dollars? No, I mean, in dollars. Right, why can't you set it to your country that you're from? Mm. Bloody. It's easier that way. Bloody Patreon. Now we've rambled a bit. Hello! <laughs> and welcome to the Nerd Bible Podcast. Episode 65. Yeah. That's mm. how old got, I feel. Because we got the episode title wrong last week. Mm. The only thing I'm proud about of last week's episode is the name of it. What was the name? Mm. Rambo number five. Oh. <laughs> Rambo number five. One, two, three, four. Oh. You've got your usual nerdy, nerd, geeky gossip and eating biscuits. Mm-hmm. What New you feature. Each, each, yeah, each week we're going to eat a different biscuit and you have to guess what it is. <gasps> that was Before we review idea. it live on the air. Yeah, and then it's like ASMR. Should we like... Oh, Shall we record this and actually do it? <laughs> <laughs> ASMR the biscuit is. It's so horrible. If you can guess what it is and you didn't listen to me say what it was at the beginning of the episode, then, email then what in, are you doing? Email in. We're no bubble contact. Wait, no bubble contact at gmail.com. Got the plug in early. <laughs> well done, and Mason. If, uh, and then, first things first, if you uh, like this video, then we won't um, throw biscuits at people. <laughs> You, the know. audience, yes, yeah, you. I've got a hobnob all over my crotch. Oh, okay, go, you just said it. I, I, know, I said it earlier as well, so oh. I already know. Um, how's your lives been? Ruby hasn't been back in a while. Rubbish. No. Ruby oh, Rose. Yeah. Ruby Rose. You were. <laughs> That's so weird. You were in, nobody ever says that to me. You were in school, weren't you? That was the thing, GCSEs. No. Oh, yeah. Last was time you were here. Was it? That was. Yeah. Was it really that long? So long yeah. Weeks ago? It yeah. only felt like two or three weeks ago. That's the thing. I don't, I, li- I don't remember <coughs> that. Um, sorry for that. I'm choking on a hobnob. <laughs> I'm choking on a hobnob. That was the pushest way. Everyone's ever going, I'm choking. What a hobnob don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you were... My name's Michael Whitehall anyway. You were doing uh, your GCSEs. GCSEs. Now you're in college. Yeah. How's life? Sad. Yeah. Sad? <laughs> you got this is mo- meant to be the part where you love college. I love it. College it's is meant so to be good. amazing. I actually have two days off a week, so it's not that bad. Oh, yeah. well, well. And also you... Um, you now have a microphone right up in your face. <coughs> yeah, so it's all up in my faces. All up in my grill. <laughs> Connor, how's your week been? Busy. Busy. Byron. <coughs> but I know. By- Byron. Do you interrupt Do you want some Kavon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will get it from I, him. I really wish we'd have like, started that. With Dry you. and tickly coffee, cough linkers. <laughs> I ain't gonna do anything. Smart channel reading like labels. This <laughs> this <laughs> episode is brought to you by Kavonia. Dry tingly and cough. Cough linkers. See, I can't even see. Soothing that. relief of dry coughs and sore throats. Non. You're probably all confused what we're looking at, but you're just gonna have to guess. It's a thing from the nineties. If you're like, born, you know, born in the eighties, you know, what? Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> we're, look, what? we're looking at Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> 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 Well, he, he certainly hasn't been taking his Kavonia. He certainly ain't been taking it for years. Oh, yeah, you saw Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> My God. I talk, so I was talking about Rambo number five. Yes. And um, Connor was like, I'm, I will probably see that. And I was like, you should. And then let me know what you think. I, I literally went, left your house, got home, got my he, card and went. Right, and then text me and went, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. How, how did you find it? First, how it actually got me. I actually cared about it, and I was, it weren't laughing. Yeah. I was expecting a cringe fest, but I actually it weren't is, cringing. The, the script's horrible, though, isn't it? Like, well, it's yeah. like, oh, yeah. I remember you used to ride horses with you. <laughs> it felt like the now room. Now I am it, a sex slave. It felt like the room, but 
an action parody of it. Yeah, with Sylvester Stallone. On a oh, farm. Sylvester Stallone and Tommy Wiseau. <gasps> On a farm. Cavornia. <laughs> They're the definition of Cavornia. That's the formula. How did you find the um, finale? Epic, bloody, gory. Just to say the least. Epic, epic, bloody, gorgeous. Epic, bloody, gory, gorgeous. When he cuts that man's foot off. And, stabs him and in he the literally neck. gets... Yeah. Or the magnesium bullets. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> well, we talked about it last week. Yeah, jeez. Get with the times. Someone ain't been watching. <laughs> No. Don't I, don't anyone, I don't think anyone does anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, should I have a look at some screenshots I've got? Um, that's that, a bit weird. That's, uh, no, I, that? Now instead of writing stuff down, I screenshot it. But Kevin Feige's planning a Star Wars movie and Brie Larson's going to be in it. Maybe I said that mm. last week. I Wait, don't what, what did you think of? Oh yeah, I did say it last week. <gasps> that's for you from Friends. That's the bear, isn't it? That's Hugsy, yeah. Connor sent me that. So yeah, not, not, not me. I'm, Other Connor. Oh, hang on, yeah. Other We're Connor, still in last week news. We're still in last week news. Hang on. Thursday. Friday. Why did you screenshot that? Because they're funny. Oh, there you go. Sony oh, reportedly yes. developing a solo movie for Jake Gyllenhaal because there yes. is a rumour Period. that he's still alive. Connor. Yes. He yes. ain't dead. He's not dead. Can There's I just rumors. say okay. that if Jake Gyllenhaal played like Alex from Madagascar, yeah, did lion. he? Like, did no, he? No, like, if, if he did. Oh, oh. Like, if they did, this like, is, This alive... is an episode of What If. <laughs> <laughs> he is, oh. How cool. He, like, looks like him, though, a little bit. Just saying. Yes, he does look like Alex the Lion. Is that the only Carry thing Carry on. <laughs> I just wouldn't tell that. <laughs> I wouldn't feel involved. What's this Madagascar 4 script? What's this? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry. Do that one. <laughs> What's the point of Madagascar? I thought you were going to lead into something about Madagascar. Oh, Madagascar. I, love I like to move, move it, move it. Yeah, anyway, oh, jeez. Because there's, there's a fan, fan theory he's still alive, Connor. Elaborate. Oh, yeah. oh he's not dead. <laughs> Whole thing's illusion. Illusion. He can illude. He can illude. He, he can, can illude you. <laughs> he can illude, <laughs> illude you. We're all just delusional. Well, he thought he was dead anyway on the floor, and then all right, Spider Man, you know, strangled him as he was cloaking and trying. You to can't trick his. me anymore. Which well, was, that, that was, was an illusion. That was cool though, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, it, it was. Like, no, bloody <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, but you could actually touch him though. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but the holograms. Like, yeah, but like, did he like? Do something and he an like, illusion, made a great illusion. hologram. It was the illusion. He made a really, really, made a really good hologram. Like, oh, really yeah. good. He got like an actor to play himself. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah like, because you never like, saw him die, did you? No. Him. You saw him left on the bridge. And then oh. when the really badly worded, execute them all. And he because just looked that like, was for the clip. And it just looked like he sort of went, uh, 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 but he didn't go, uh, he didn't bleed out. He didn't. He was no. literally, he we said didn't, something. We didn't see his eyes close. Exactly. It weren't a dramatic, like, Spider Man. I kind of don't remember the end of that because I was pretty tired, so I don't really. It was a long day, wasn't it? That was the longest day of my life. Lovely day. Lovely evening. Oh, yeah, but that wasn't that bad. Yeah, but that was shorter than it. It It was was, Spider Man was, what, two and a half hours? hours. It was like five (laughs) hours worth of clown. Jesus. Yeah, that was funny. Jesus. That was. I like that. That was the first time I'd seen it. Literally. You don't like it. Yeah, well, I do now because hey, I. Because his name is George and it's Georgie. And just yeah, but now I'm better about it now. Want a balloon, I'm... Georgie? How's, how's your reading of it going? Page 400. <laughs> no, 421. Page 421. Something like so that. So that's about yeah. a third? A third of the book. Yeah. Not too much has happened, is that a though. A third of 1200? Yeah. 1138, yeah. 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 That's like bad. That. Why are you reading it? Who reads these days? Nobody reads. What is a book? That's just rude. What is, That's just what is, rude. What, what is book? <laughs> that is just rude. Is because line? it's only one book. It's not like I'm getting into Harry Potter where I've got to read seven of them. Oh, it's yeah, not but I've read all of them. Yeah, but it's it's okay, different. Back in my day, we had one book for the series and it was all in one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, old school. Simple. Two chapters, one big book. I liked it so much, I thought, sod it. The book's cheap and I'm going to read it. Hmm. I'm, apparently they're planning a um, similar double bill with The Shining and Doctor Sleep. I don't know oh, if I've nice. said this. No, you, yeah, you definitely uh, didn't to me. Uh, oh, you said nice. it to me. I don't know if I've said it on here. Oh, that's yeah. the thing. Like every, I, every conversation, I have to relay. I have to remember if I've said it in front of a microphone. <laughs> it's stressful. Well, stressful. I would. I would. If I it's not see, on the red carpet. I want to see um, Doctor Sleep, oh, Shining yeah. double bill. I love The Shining. Why not? <laughs> I've never seen The Shining. Oh, oh. sorry, right not yet. <laughs> One of the, but the but beauty of this podcast, Connor, is you're watching things that you wouldn't normally watch, especially like Rocket Man. Man. Well, yeah, no, I never day. said no to Rocket Man. <laughs> Remember that day like it was yesterday. I no, haven't seen it. In That's my head. out on Blu-ray and 4K now. I should see. Oh, it is, it is, yeah, it is. And I think it's gonna be a long. Taron Egerton is such a good actor. Amazing, Kingsman. Kingsman. They did a new trailer for The King's Man. Didn't he do... Oh, no. oh I didn't watch where that. Where someone's in it and they're evil. I don't remember who, but it's... But there's um, always an evil person in there, isn't there? Is it? Maybe I screenshot it. 
Well, someone contracts. who's been in the previous films, or no, like someone else is playing. Like they've been, I think they just like show they've shown who the villain is. Kingdom Come Superman. Uh, oh, Kingdom Come Superman. Um, da, da, da. Tom Holland's thingy movie. Uh, Ghost Rider oh, dead. Oh. Ghost Rider Tom dead. Holland, um, the, the Ghost Rider series isn't happening. It isn't happening. No, no. the Ghost Rider series at Hulu is dead. So what they're going to do with him now? Movie. Rip. Yep. Movie. There's now movie. four um, MCU movies in 2021 for the first time ever because finally, da, 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 finally, Spider-Man so has home. come back to the MCU. I literally want to cry though when he posted that thing from the bullshit. Yeah, I ain't leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. Uh, yeah. So, how do we feel about Spider-Man being back in the MCU? So happy. About yeah. bloody time. I mean, I mean this month, it, with... it's only been a month since it was announced that he's not in it. But this month has gone... It's felt like it's so long. long. It, yeah, it's it literally felt like, felt like a, a millennia. <laughs> yeah. It's felt like... A, yeah. Felt, we've got trapped in another Madam, parallel what earth. what year is this? We got trapped in another earth Ooh. for a month. They're like it was horrible. Dogs and they were like, oh, yeah, Spider-Man's we back. Yeah, we were from uh, Earth 616. It was horrible. But... It kind of needed to happen. Yeah, there we go. Um, Re-Siphons explodes onto the scene as Rasputin in the new King's, the King's Man trailer 2. The King's oh. Man. Which looks good because I like Ray Fiennes. And he was Voldemort, but now he's trying to be less evil. I hate Voldemort. Lovely. Because he was, um, he's M in Bond, and now he's doing a Wait, Bondish... Is that actually Voldemort? Well, not, well Voldemort's Ray. not real, really, but yes. <laughs> I'm scared of Voldemort. I'm actually scared, scared of Voldemort. the character, not of Ray Fiennes. Yes, I know. Ray Fiennes can't hurt you, he's fine. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want to see that face in a dark alley, though. I mean, not so, yeah. No, I wouldn't want to see Ray Fiennes in a dark alley. No, no like Voldemort. Oh, but even his normal face. Yeah. <laughs> his normal face. Where's the rest of his body? Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's a mystery. That's the it's it's mystery, folks. But, so we're getting a Spider-Man trilogy finished. So it's two Thank another, God. It's another two-picture deal. Yeah. A team up. But what is the second picture, George? Um, there's a heavy rumour that it's going to be the Fantastic Four. Hey! Oh, I've not heard that one. Because Spider-Man... <laughs> I've, not heard that one. I've not heard that one. Because, have you not? Is that something? I heard... No, no, Jeremy, I've heard New Avengers. I've heard New Avengers. I've heard Avengers 5, which is but confirmed the... by Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige has come out and said, there will be an Avengers 5. It will be very different to what you know. But not... But we sort of... Four or five? What phase? Not in phase four, then. Five. Not in phase probably four. Probably phase five, it'd, then. It'd probably be phase five, Avengers mm. five. <laughs> Makes sense. On, yeah. av- on average, there's been an Avengers film, a phase... Yeah, exactly, but this one... And they had yeah. two last phase, so maybe take phase four out. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because they're lining up Doctor Doom and Galactus as the big bads going forward. Together? I'd, maybe, yeah. Together? Forever? Maybe, maybe like, Together. it takes Silver Surfer to come and warn them. Like, there's a big fuck-off giant guy that's eating planets. And there's an evil like, variant tyrant from another dimension mm. caused by Doctor Strange that's going to invade. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know, yeah. But... Yeah, the rumour is Fantastic Four because I think Spider-Man first appeared in issue 63 of Fantastic Four, if my memory serves me correctly. What, before he even got his own comic? The first time he appears is like... Amazing on, um, Fantasy. He's um, on the fan- on the Baxter building and going, they don't even know I'm here or something. And it's like Fantastic Four in the building and he's on the window outside. Oh. oh. I think so. I think oh. I've absorbed enough pop culture references over the millennia. To... Bloody hell. But I'd love to see him in Fantastic Four. It'd be a nice change, yeah. It would be. Um, I'd love to see Brooklyn's him in anything finest. because I love Tom Holland and I love. They could do Future Foundation. Oh, Potentially. Foundation. Potentially. They could do a Spider Verse. Oh. And Venom is included in the deal. He is. So he can jump. Finally. He can. So maybe they'll do Venom right. Exactly. Do him justice. But also, um, he can jump between universes because they don't know whether once the deal's done, like he'll just you keep renegotiating. Like, yeah, because the, the thing is, it's like every two years, it'll be them to round up his story and then have him go off in his universe or to do it in Karen. But there is heavy rumours that twenty twenty one is when they're going to negotiate to the next part Couple of the deal. Years. Yeah. Ooh. So he may be hanging around for a little while longer, but that's good because Tom Holland's the best version of Peter Parker, Spider Man. Yes. Until he dies. What, in real life or in the film? Oh, well, 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 sorry, uh, Holland, if you're listening, please, this isn't a threat. Yeah, I love you, Holland. <laughs> no, in, in the films, in the films, of course. Tom Holland and Tom Holland. And Peter, Harry, sorry, Sam, let me Harry. reiterate. Peter Parker is going to die. I'd love to see a Spider-Verse live action. <gasps> With Tom... With Tom Holland, oh, Andrew go. Garfield and Tony Maguire. With the three of them. Like, there was fan images, it would, three together. It would give, so which like, one's the blonde one? Would that be 
That would be Tobey Maguire. Maguire. And, and then, then um, the fat, uh, fat hobo janky Spider-Man would have been Andrew Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> there was rumours they wanted to do that for the Spider-Verse movie. So, but like, have them as their version. But of... Tom Holland wouldn't be... Miles. Miles. Well, no. No, 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 no. You do them all different versions of Peter Parker, them being those versions. Like, I from love their that films. film. That is, like, such a good film. That is my favourite film of last year. My favourite film of this year, so far, is Rocket Man. Yeah. Good um, chat. Good chat. Not Endgame. That's like it, the only it thing I've really actually good. seen in the cinema this year. It was really good, but I like. Oh, I preferred. It, I preferred <laughs> I it, like it, it chapter one to chapter two, just because. It chapter was, one was scarier. Chapter, chapter was, two is has a lot more Chap- stuff yeah. happening. Yeah. yeah, and chapter one was pacier. Yeah. Because we've been nearly three hours. Chapter two, there was a lot of times when it was like, ah, I could just just do yeah. something and stop making Bill Hader be funny. Like let it, let it just play out. Chapter two was just funny and stupid. Good, and they were both well cast. The way very very they well done. Killed him was stupid. So yeah, as well. But then that is that's the thing with the book is it is anticlimactic, which has been said of like. Splitting. That's most of Stephen King's novels. That's why split. they say he can't finish a film. Full flat, which is the joke it. that they make in it chapter two. Like, is your book actually going to have a good ending? But um, the f- separate it. That's the problem when you get separating the plot of the we've said before like the adult storyline and the children's storyline is it seems very anticlimactic to the adult one because they just sort of like yeah we're holding his heart and he's dead whereas the kids one night they fight him off and it's the thing of like he may return and we have to be ready and come back in 20, 27 years I dreamed of you there will be a trilogy I, I could see them doing cut. another one they won't do a trilogy can't you do like Andy Machete said do a prequel of that entity. Yeah. Do the seven hour cut of both films together. That's what I want. I would watch the shit out of that with all the stuff that they're missing. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. But yeah, I think Joker might be my favourite film of the year. Potentially. That goes. No. Potentially. When you bring me up, can you introduce me as Joker? Joker. But we haven't had a decent <sighs> Joker in Yonks. Since the Ledger. No, but we did get a... um. The trailer Ledger. for um, Birds of Prey, didn't we? Oh, who are they? Birds of Prey, they're like Suicide Squad, but it's All not going to be bad. Fem, fem, femel Fatales. Fem Fatales, yeah. Fem Fatales, but not Gotham City Sirens. No, and no Huntress or Black Canary. Like, they've been very quiet from the trailers. Like, mm-hmm. It's but very Black it's Mask very much a Harley Quinn then, movie. But the Black Mask is in it, and people are moaning that Ewan McGregor wasn't wearing a black mask. <laughs> well, this is going to be his origin. He might wear it at the end. Final okay. act. I'm, I like... I, I love you, McGregor. He'll be the final boss fight. Hello there. And I cannot wait to see him be bad. Yeah, something different. It's good to be bad. Yeah, and I... And for better or worse, Margot Robbie was the one of the best things about Suicide Squad, her and Will Smith. If not the highlight. Work, yeah. <laughs> Them and, too. But her relationship with Joker is the fact that, you know, it starts off with, you know, Joker and I broke up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because apparently in the... Um, <laughs> Getting in, rid of Leto straight in, away. In some cinemas i don't know whether it's just the states with um the it chapter two like one or two back to back they had a trailer for birds of prey and All it right. was um the street of dairy a red balloon oh. and then and what? then and then harley, then harley quinn has a mallet like, like and hits, hits the balloon, hits the balloon and goes i'm sick of clowns what? and then, like, then the trailer for birds Imagine. of prey starts. <gasps> pennywise is the joker <laughs> Yeah, like he goes, he I goes think are they the same studio? They're both Warner Brothers. They must be. Oh, surely. Must surely. Be surely. But yeah, that's um, what I look forward to. Birds of Prey. We what? We should have an it experience like on Halloween, like a pop up. Yeah. That would be so cool. I, I would be surprised if they didn't do something like that at Fort Park this year. Like a sort of um the. But there's always clowns there. Mm. So they do the um. Oh, if that's you. Because they do the um, didn't they? The, the they did a cabin in the woods maze thing. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't eat one. It would sell because scary. The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead rights to my scary. No, The Walking Dead. Um. Oh, well, who cares about Walking yeah, Dead? Who cares? Fuck it. Fuck the Walking Dead. It's shit. No. Never ending. Um, it's the next Game of Thrones. We got a, a season four trailer of. Um, uh, of uh, We're not oh, Walking yeah. Dead anymore. Yeah. yeah oh my god, we both scared the shit. Out of <laughs> We're in a random road in dark woods. We're in Paulkins. Unless Paulkins. it's the upside down. I think it looked like the upside down. It looked mm. like the. Um, um, it looked like the upside down was gonna grow out of the, the thing, even yeah. though Hawkins it, like. Because yeah. what was it? It looked like where the um clubhouse was in the upside down. Because we it's the Mickey we got, Mouse we got a lot of clubhouse noise from um. Come inside. It's not scary inside. It's the Mickey Mouse clubhouse. But that will be on Disney Plus, like and I'm really... gonna watch that. And I don't even, don't even care. 
Oh, I'm, no, we all know what I'm watching first. We're watching the Hannah Montana movie first. Oh, Hannah Jesus. Hannah Montana's a concert. Oh, jeez. No, and then the movie. And then the series. Uh, in reverse order. But, um... Treasure Planet for me, probably. Yeah. Maybe. Love Treasure Planet. Maybe. Treasure Planet. There, yeah, so... It sort of, there was weird, like, goings on on the Stranger Things Twitter account, and then mm. it was just like, we're not in Hawkins anymore. And it was just the four, like, the Stranger Things mm. four, like... The intro, the fun dun, 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 in the upside down. It's so it's cool because it was, it was so we're not in Hawkins anymore. And there's a lot of people saying, "Oh, because uh, Hopper's still alive." No, he's not. He's dead. <laughs> I think that's who the American is. I don't want it to be when they go. The no, American. It, it'd be too obvious. Yeah, yeah it's too yeah. obvious. But then also, it's so obvious that might it might happen. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and that's yeah. What, no, I no. Things. He had a nice death. Like, oh. Well, he didn't. Leave, but like, no, but, not, no not. it's a mysterious situation. We didn't see him die. He just like looked over. Well, I mean, he got trapped he, in a room and he, he was supposedly there one exploded, and then yeah. he disintegrated the next. Yeah. Let's see the escape hatch. If, if he could have got through, he would have. He would have like not gone. Oh, there's a way out, but I'm just going to stand here and be. Like, but <laughs> leave the door open three inches is a lot sadder. I would wager than I love you three thousand. Like that Leave the door free. Yeah, she did be that, fair. That yeah, yeah. Because she's crying. I was like, okay. Well, yeah, I love you three thousand. I can't. It was a bit. Oh, that's sweet. Whereas the leave the door thing, I was like, oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Bad times. Let's not talk about Stranger Things. But you know, when I did Stranger Things Escape Room. Sorry. Is it good? It's very good. Yeah. Six minutes to spare. We hey. we should do an Escape Room. But we why not? Why not? Mm-hmm. A little day out. Okay, back on the Spider-Man thing. Oh. He's dying. No. What, to Holland no... or like actually? <laughs> Peter Parker, he's do you, dying. Do you remember the cliffhanger we were left on? Yes. That everyone... <gasps> I need to show you a clip. I need to get my phone. Sorry, that was really exciting. I've saved oh, I'm confused. What, what? What's this? You know, I found that really good clip. Did you show him the parody of like the thing? With the parody, the... No, the parody of the thing. Uh, oh, yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, I <laughs> started the episode watching that. It was great. That's <laughs> Um... Especially look out the window. That is the best. I love that bit. <laughs> Dad, daddy fig. He did it. He wiped out 50% of the creatures. But, um, Sorry, yeah. I remember what we were looking like. There's rumours of another character <laughs> returning to the MCU. Oh, yeah. We've theorised before that this may happen, that there yeah. will be a John Wick style scenario in the third oh, Spider-Man yeah. film. And there are rumours abound, ladies and gentlemen, that Charlie Cox's Daredevil uh, okay, yeah, will yeah. be Peter's lawyer. Without a shadow of a doubt. I hope what? so. I'm pleased to God he hopes so. I I am desperate for that mm. Daredevil and that Spider-Man team up because yeah. one, they're both British. Yes. Two, they're both Yes, amazing. we love British. Two, people. they're both amazing actors. Oh, very. Three, I think they're, at this point, the most definitive incarnations of each other. Yeah. Of their yeah. respective character. And also... That Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin Wants to will be, yeah. feature in it because Marvel are fighting to get him back. Also, John Bernthal's Punisher. Not in, in Spider-Man, it, but in he the wants... MCU. Marvel want him yeah, in and the D'Onofrio. MCU. But they don't want Iron Fist. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a shame because I think if you're going to keep that iteration of the team, I would Have keep everyone. Finn Jones and actually write him a proper script. Yeah, exactly. Give him justice. And you've got to give Kristen Ritter Jessica Jones. Oh, yeah. You have to. Very. 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 UK. But, um... That's a sponsorship. We're not sponsored. But what do, what do we feel about Daredevil? Being in, like, that'd be cool. If it was, like, it'd be a fun cameo, and then if they teamed up a little bit... Then do it. Like, if it was, like, oh, how could he take down Craven the Hunter when Cra- maybe Craven's got a couple of, like, helpers himself maybe it's like the mini defenders it'll just turn up Daredevil (laughs) it'll just swooning um who's the guy that plays um, Luke Cage Uh, oh Nicholas Cage oh Nicholas Cage where I got I want to say Terry we're in a basement (laughs) oh what is his name Mike Coulter Mike Coulter yeah yeah. Mike Coulter imagine the defenders led by Spider-Man against D'Onofrio and Craven the Hunter and Bullseye and bullseye. And we actually get that bullseye out. bullseye. We actually get that bullseye out. But they're apparently going to want to work Iron Fist into the future Shang-Chi movie, which, you know, Fine. makes sense with Fine. the martial yeah. arts aspect. And we actually the culture, get to see yeah. Fang Foom and, like, yeah. magic mystical dragons that they fight. I'm cool with that. Yeah, why not? Yes, you. Why not? You, you, yes, you, yes. You, you. But I'd love to see D'Onofrio versus Spider-Man. Why not? Needs to happen. I would love well, to see that. Well, him versus Daredevil again needs to happen, but, yeah. Not versus like, just, up. Just not She-Hulk. She-Hulk, see how she does in the series. Mm. 
and She-Hulk and Spider-Man in the comics don't really team up often anyway. Mm-hmm. Daredevil and Spider-Man, they're sort of related. They're bound together. They're in the same freaking street in town. Them. Charlie Cox likely to return. Charlie Cox to feature in Spider-Man 3. Yeah, I'd geez. love that. I'd, I'd honestly love that. Get on it. Yeah, Daredevil and Spider-Man 3. He is honestly the best thing to come out of the Netflix universe. Netflix. Yeah. Yes, without a doubt. But yeah, bring them all back. Uh, Percy Jackson. Did anyone used to watch those two films? Oh my god, that literally. That mm. I remember seeing them when they like came out. I saw the I first one. Was, like, lo- like a long time to the first wanted, one and the second one. I always uh. wanted the pen. The thingy, the pen. Oh, the pen. Like, the pen is right in the when the guy's played by. He's played by Pierce Brosnan in the first one, and then he's played by Anthony Head in the second one. But it's the same character. It's a good film. Love you, you know, there's like five of those books yeah and you know yeah. we're waiting for that third film yeah. well wait no more because Cancel. Percy Jackson is being rebooted as a streaming service TV series <laughs> on Disney Plus I on... don't know if Disney own that no, but I, if they do, Disney I, do I, I think Disney own many things someone said they want Bob Iger to run for president that's like ultimate global monopolisation <laughs> can you imagine that would no. be no. disgusting just no Kevin Smith is officially making Clerks 3 Oh yeah, big fan of Kevin another Smith. franchise. I need to watch then. Clerks, yeah, clerks, good. You'll enjoy those. They'll really yeah. speak to you as part of your <laughs> part of your stuff. To the soul. Know, what are they? Co- uh, comedies and all like, like what? What are they? Comedy. There's a bit of satire in there. It's like it's poking fun at the industry whilst also um, sort mm. of actually doing the same thing. What? Uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home star is personally an advocate for becoming popular villain in the future. Jacob, wasn't because it? Jacob Batalon has had oh yes I was Batalon oh. Batalon as in Ned yeah Ned yeah. he wants to become a villain because there's Ned's a lot of a lot of people been theorising and the sh- and shipping for him to become Hobgoblin oh of course because in the comics a yeah f- a few yeah. like of course I feel like some people have wanted me to become the Hobgoblin and he's all for that yeah do it different villain that would also do be it. a nice end to Peter's like arc like college his best friend yeah. Like you know, what, you know what Harry Osborn was supposed to be in Spider Man Three. Exactly, they could do that. It would be that because yeah. we'd actually seen him and Ned be best friends and yeah. actually get on. Yes. And then the turn would be more dramatic. Yeah, like because he told him about being Spider Man, then he finds out how to do stuff, and then like. Yeah, and he's always the whole goblin's got a personal advantage over yeah. him because yeah. he knows who he's every move. He knows who he is, and he know, and he's got the tech advantage of building it himself. Mm. That is. That is. Good. If not in the third one, maybe do it at the end of the next trilogy. If they do, say six more. I feel like he'll be like Spider-Man like Five. Middle of the third film. Like he'll be like, do or I want to be on his team? Craven. I feel like it would be the um the last thing, one of the last big things before it passes on to Miles. Like it'd be the last big Peter storyline. Spider-Man Six. Yeah, and then you go into the college, the um adult years when um, mm. he then gets killed and then Miles takes over. R.I.P. R.I.P. Cameron Monaghan. Is up for playing Hercules in Disney's live action. That was movie. random. That was he random. was the, he was the Joker. Jerome Falesca. but not un, not officially. He weren't ever the Joker officially. But he was oh. the Joker, but they weren't allowed to call him the Joker. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they weren't allowed to call their own character with their own character's name. But that's fine <laughs> yeah. because that makes sense. I don't like Hercules. Either. Hercules isn't that good of a Disney film. I don't know if we covered that. Overrated. Mm-hmm. Never, I would never didn't see it. Have uh, Chris Hemsworth in it. As, her, as, well, as Hercules. Yeah, well, like, well, who else is like available to play a god? Maybe Chris Evans. Yeah, yeah, yeah Chris Evans. No. <laughs> Both Chris's. No, Tom Hiddleston's no. rumoured for it. Well, as Hercules or as Hades? Hades. Hades. Why can't he be Hades? He'd be a good Hades. But do you know what I'd get? You know, because of um, his old work on Good Omens, Tenet this, would be a good Hades. Hades. Oh. 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 I feel the backdraft. It's lovely. Ooh. I thought you said you were a draft. Draft, eh? I don't know which I preferred. So David Tennant or Tom Hiddleston? I'd say David Tennant just because of the work, like him in mm. Good Omens. Mm. And Kilgrave. Oh, yeah. David Tennant. And that, um, there's a the series on Netflix that you need to check out. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but he's a serial killer in it. Oh, yes. Confessions or something yes. stupid. Yeah. Yes. Confessions. Very nice. Yeah, Confessions. Confessions. Another di- a secret cool girl, whatever the hell it's we, we like um, Fast and Furious, right? Yeah. 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 Tokyo Drift is the best. Change my mind. Yes. It is the best. You think so? Yeah. yeah. That's the one that got me into them. One and two were Same, okay. Exactly. The third I one was like, watch, yeah. I watched Tokyo Drift first and I watched the others. Sorry. Uh, okay. Sorry for disappointing everyone that likes the others. You know there's that big feud that, um, between Vin Diesel and The Rock that led to um, yeah. Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw being created? It's right, over. Uh-huh. 
Oh, the f- they've made they've up. Truce. Yeah. Johnson, Good God. Dwayne Johnson interviewed with Vin Diesel over Instagram because apparently um he uh, Vin Diesel offered him congratulations and mm. Dwayne Johnson said thank you. Seemingly has buried the hatchet with old Vin, who is known to be someone difficult to work with, and they've teased their return and working together again, saying there is unfinished... In Hobbs and Shaw 2! Unfinished business. I I think it'll be Fast and Furious 10. Yeah, because if not 9... Because Fast and Furious 10 mm. is the last one? Yeah, supposedly. Supposedly. Oh, in space. Universe. In space. They've, they've said they don't mind going there. <laughs> in space. Because Fast and Furious 9 is basically everyone back. Yeah, and, apart um, from me is, Vin. Me is yeah. back, but because obviously... Paul good can't. Yeah. And they've got um Cypher's still the villain and I think she good, will be yeah. the big going forward. Until mm. the tenth one and then it will all end and then we'll just have a Hob- Hobbs and Shaw's a really good movie. Amazingly good I movie. I love that movie. Might potentially be like second favourite movie, third favourite movie even. Of that whole one. Um, of this year. No, it was this year. <laughs> no, 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 no. In my life. In my whole entire I've seen too life. many movies this year in my life. I can't decide of all time. <laughs> no, third favourite potentially this year, maybe. I didn't even see that. It's really good. You'll see it because it will. I assume it'll be out on DVD soon, right? It's, it's got to be. It's got to be soon. Right? Has we to be don't soon. even know. Oh yeah, this oh, I forgot. Um, so when they said, "Go on, Spider-Man," yeah, there yeah, was yeah. a team-up movie. Yep. Go on, um, yes, Avengers. Simu, Simu Lu. Simu Lu. Oh yes, says playing, playing Shang Chi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shared yes. this with the shrugging emoji. Marvel team Spider-Man and the Master of Kung Fu. Mm. I do. I'd. I'd do that. I'd do a bit yeah. of that. Maybe it's how you get Shang Chi. Just over announced it. Deborah Cho has been taped to direct the new Obi Wan Kenobi series, debuting exclusively on Disney Plus. Obi Wan Kenobi. Hello when, there. How long have we got till Disney Plus? Um, November for like everyone but us. But still not us. <laughs> I think we'll be like January seventh because they oh. want to do all the major territories. Yeah, January. They so they'll I do can't do. wait till after Christmas. We've literally been talking about this a year's I'm worth. I'm going to send time. a personal email to Disney. We've yeah. done a year's worth. Call of Bob Iger. And say, well, I want oh, Disney Plus now. How do they? Well, here's like, a script America I wrote. So fuck, it fuck yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. On you Christmas, can, you can we pre- can order, watch. Like, you can pre-order Christmas it now. Shows. You can pay for your subscription now, but you can't watch it. You yeah. Can officially What's the point like of that? why? You can pre-order a streaming <laughs> service, which is weird. But like, not. But we can't. It's not gonna be a limited streaming service, is it? Mm, exactly. But speaking of limited, Henry Cavill. Oh right, he is very limited. Wants to return as Superman for Man of Steel two. Uh, why? Why now? I think like the DCU is at a point where it needs to. Just He's also running out of money. Build, Determined. No, it just needs to build. He needs its to solo franchises because yeah. yeah. Shazam worked. Yeah. Wonder Woman I was okay. Shazam. Amazing. And, Amazing. Um, Aquaman, as much as it was a mess of a script, it was enjoyable because of Jason Momoa, and I think build on that, and then maybe get a team up down the line. Again. Once he decides he's going to stay. Yeah, but look at that! Look at that! Kingdom Come Superman. I actually got, like I have never really dived Sexy. deep enough into the CW universe. No. Oh yeah, no, I, I wasn't. Yeah, this ex- like Crisis on excite. Infinite Earths excites me. It feels like a finale. It feels like the, oh, it end, really does. the end game of DC at the moment. Yeah, yeah. You know, you... I've literally dabbled out in and out of the CW verse. I've got up to say season four or five of each show, and I've kind of missed the last couple of shows. But now I've been watching the last couple of crossovers they've done yeah. over the last couple of years. Even in Elseworlds, they played the small film, fe- small film theme in the set of yeah. Smallville, and wow. that, just hearing that made it hype. Wow! And then keep hearing about Tom Welling as well, and Tom, seeing the photos. Smallville was great. Smallville was Amazingly great, great. We wouldn't have a DC universe without Smallville. No, we would not. It's the OG show. Tom Holland, his Uncharted movie that lost a director, sign up the Bumblebee director, Travis Knight. So, been a bit of a good week for Tom Holland. He was out of a job, and now he's back in two jobs. <laughs> yeah. What, was that Chaos Wolf? Yeah. Was, didn't Chaos Wolf do that? I thought someone... I thought they... I heard that they weren't going to release Chaos Wolf. No. I don't think they are. Because they also... that um, power. Because they like, sent all of it, and then they were like, oh, no, we're not going to release it now. And I was like... What's this Chaos Walking? The film that he did that was like meant to be so bad that it couldn't be released. But oh, then he did oh. one in 2016 with the Weinstein Company, which only got released this year because they couldn't find a distributor for it. Oh. 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 Which well, was filmed weird. just after Civil War. Tom Holland was really young in it. Oh, dear. Poor Tom. But, yeah. Poor Tom. Batwoman star Ruby Rose shares surgery video following stunt accident on the set of Batwoman. Lovely. I'm fine, guys, by the way. Great. Oh, well. Great. I mean, it's horrible that she hurt herself. But, no. um, like, how bad? What happened to her? I don't know. I didn't read it. 
Bond. We like James Bond. No. No. Even uh, though yes. Pierce Brosnan thinks that like make James Bond a woman. It's like no. Write parts original, original. parts for women and give them their own franchises and let them Do have the thing. spotlight they deserve mm. without being lazy and gender flipping. Right. Was he said? God. Was Brosnan said? Um, he's advocated. No, nothing. Daniel Daniel Craig um, gave a speech at the Bond Twenty Five rap party as principal photography ends. Rap party. So that comes out. April 2020 yeah. No Great. Time to Die and it's definitely his last one unless they offer him more money you I feel like he needs to go did you know you can get the Daniel Craig's now in 4K yep did you know that you can pre-order Toy Story 1, 2 and 3 in 4K yes Yes. yes. did you know that yes you the audience yes you the audience and um come on have a lie No Time to Die right, uh, Phoebe Waller-Bridge might be returning for James Bond 26 oh 26 yeah 26. I can't believe there's been 24 films. Isn't that like the biggest franchise? Other than the longest Marvel running universe. continuously, yes. Yeah. Bond. That's mad. It's mad. Stupid. But it's made it's a stupid. hell of a lot less. It has, yeah. And that's ridiculous. It says a lot. Wait, so that's the 26th film. So we're three films, of the MCU in yeah, 10 years has done three films less than James Bond since 1962. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. And by 2021, they'll have taken them. That's mad. Um, I like Phoebe Waller-Bridge as a writer. I don't like or no. Well, I don't done, get like... Fleabag. Fleabag doesn't appeal to me. Fleabag. Have you watched Fleabag? Do I know Fleabag? No. It's like a sort of it? it's like a yeah, comedy it? satire thing, but it's good. Like it's clever, like what she's done with it. But it's just for me, it doesn't speak to me. So, yeah. Doesn't mean I don't like her. I didn't like her in uh, Solo as that droid. And it was like the freedom for the revolution, Lando. Lando definitely wants to sleep with me. It's like mm. what? Sorry, oh, what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, what? That's why I'm exactly Sorry, what? You, the Bye audience? Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Um, I think that's about it. So, should we jump on the main topic? Rubens. Back. Peter Parker's death. Peter Parker's death. Peter Parker's death. R. I. P. Yeah. My yeah. name's Peter. I never. Parker. I keep trying to talk about the theory that I've heard. A couple of theories are speculated from work. How Peter Parker's demise might actually happen, and it might be sooner than you think. Tomorrow. <laughs> no, 2021. But, but you, be, no, it, you know, it's a movie that's already been announced. It's not Avengers Five. It's not Fantastic Four. Oh, it's oh, not oh. let me guess. Let me guess. It's not Deadpool Black Three. <laughs> it's no, it's not like it's a 2021. Oh, uh, yeah. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Yes, because long story short, Doctor Strange in the comics, Civil War, Peter Parker's ousted. I'm Peter Parker. I'm Spider Man. Have you seen that thing? Oh, fa- um, interrupt my favorite thanks sorry thanks. <laughs> I just have to get this out before I forget about it no don't worry in um, Far From Home apparently when he's like doing all the illusions and stuff you see three people in stone and it's what, in Captain stone? America Black Widow and Iron Man in stone so they already told us that they're gonna but die we none what? of us took any notice what? of it what's this Spider Man Far From Home yeah Far From Home was set after Endgame yeah it came out after him. Yeah, what, you, what are you on about? I don't Is know it homecoming? What, what are you on about? I don't know what I'm on about. What are you on about? <laughs> it seems like you need to read up on that theory. Yeah, I know. Jeez. Your computer will just turn off. Anyway, I'm sure um, And Ruby, what's the I'm main idiot. topic that you wanted to do? Spooky season. No, sorry. That's good. I like that. Spooky, scary it's season. It's near. It's the month. I'm not spooked yet. It's the month of October. Ooh, yeah. spooky. Yeah, and and Halloween is at the end of this month. Yeah. So Woo. because we got, got planned for the end of the month. Uh, to be alive. No, that's not to see a film. If there's a film coming out on Halloween, film. I don't know. <laughs> if I'm off that day. I think there is stuff coming out. Then. I don't know. If there's a film. If Joker came out on Halloween, and you know that'd be great. I feel like there is because we've got Joker next week, so we're going to be deep diving straight into Joker, Gemini all of, Man, all of the Jokers, <laughs> Twenty One Bridges, Shaun the Sheep, the movie, Farmageddon. No. Is that coming out Halloween? Eighteenth of October. <laughs> I'll watch that. Eighteenth. Uh, There's uh, an unlimited screening. Oh, go- oh, good God Almighty! Uh, Artemis Fowl, uh, playing with the movie and Children in Need, uh, uh, Blue Story, Ballet, Ballet. Uh, cats is at Christmas. No. Oh. Um, Doctor Sleep. Twenty nineteen. Doctor Sleep is on Halloween. <gasps> <gasps> yes, I know what we're doing on Halloween. Doctor Sleep Spooky is on Halloween. Stephen King season. Spooky Stephen King season. Yeah. Oh my good god! Right, so I know what I'm doing Halloween then. Or so Fright Night. We're gonna go through because we got Joker Hello. next week. Hello. Is that as fine as to record? We, I hope. 
we've got Joker <laughs> next week. We've got Doctor Sleep at the end, and we got. I thought and, that was out December. Yeah, and so Zombie Land the week after Joker. That's fucking that's good. Well done. Thank you. That's all right. Sorry, it's no problem. Break, break bad as well. Oh, oh shit! Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very busy week. We Ruby's wants to talk about Halloween movies. Um, yeah. I don't know you that. Well, I said pick a topic, and you went Halloween movies. Halloween. No, I just had Halloween in general. Oh, just the holiday. Just the holiday. Happy well, holidays. Um, I don't know what to start with. Well, You're gonna eat another coffee on break. Um, do you want another biscuit? No, I'm good. I don't okay. have any water. Another biscuit? Yeah. Yes. Why not? Yeah. 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 If you don't like people <laughs> eating in your ear, then I'd. Probably skip yes. like a minute forward because it's going to be painful. Don't worry, that's why you're talking. I yeah. don't know what to think. Um, what was your favourite Halloween movie? We all know this. Coraline, if you haven't watched oh. it. It's very, it's actually yeah. quite, it's bigger in America than I thought it was because I know I'd, people I'd left the that. cinema when I was Hello? watching that. I got scared. I haven't seen it since. You when mean? I was about eight. It's actually a really good movie. Oh. Good I did movie. not like it. That's why I, I left. I love the film. I have one of the pop figures, which I want to get more of them because, yes. It's just a good movie. I said they deliver it on the 11th of October and it came a week earlier and she got happy. <laughs> came yesterday? No. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. And you came out after it was raining and went, I needed this today. <laughs> I was drenched. I got splashed by two cars. Anyway. This week's been Did, did Coraline come out at Halloween? Coraline? No, I don't think so. Does it? 2009. Eight. Eight. No, 2009 is a whole year. There's 365 days. <laughs> what day did it come out? 365 days. I want, to say, I want to say eight. But I really want to say 2008. Everyone thinks it's scary or like creepy. It's just not. This is funny. Oh, Jim Burton. Sorry, mate. Oh, 2009. Yeah, it's, excuse me. I know this film. I don't care. I don't like the film. She knows this film. Like the best it is. Film. It was. Hey, that's new. Look, February. February. <laughs> not freaking October. That's a bit weird. Why it is February. February. Spooky season. Carry on. So, um, that totally works. Do you spooky. like the sort of um, stop motion? Animation style like this, Nightmare Before Christmas, those yes. kind of things. Nightmare so Christmas, this... Corpse Bride, we love it. So was that just like, yes, I will watch it because it looks like this? Yeah, I was like, yeah. Well, actually, I wasn't. I didn't want to watch it really, but it was bought for us. On DVD. He didn't have a choice. Oh, free, no, Blu-ray 3D. Oh, I say DVD oh, yeah. 3D. So the first time we actually watched it, we watched it in 3D, and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I actually, we actually stopped it halfway through, and we went to get snacks, and then we came back. Um, I remember that was quite funny. So, I didn't want to watch it, but it was just bought because we were like, oh, let's just watch a film. And then we bought it, and then it was like, oh my god, this is my new favourite film. And it has been ever since, and I can't stop watching it. I watch it... Religiously, like once a week. Twice a month. Twice a month. Twice a month. We'll say, we'll go over twice a month. I literally know all of it, like the back of my hand. Um, What's your favourite Halloween movie? movie? So we're just going sort of like horrors and stuff. Yeah. Horrors, like creepy. Halloween, the first one's really good. It is and very the, good. the sequel, the newest one, is meant to be very good. You've got fucking loads of no- YouTube notifications. Jesus Christ. How many people are you subscribed to? <laughs> one. <Everyone>. It's us. <laughs> yes. Yes. <coughs> I'm trying to think of horror movies. Um, You've uh, got loads, if you think. It. Halloween. Pony Friday the 13th. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, that's a good one. Human centipede. Oh no! Mm. Have I seen Human the centipede? Purge. Yep. Purge. Pur- the Purge. The first one. The series is all right, you know. Annabelle. Uh, well, I like your top. Mm. That was funny. That's the whole. Se- that's the Conjuring universe, isn't it? Like, um, yeah. Conjuring the nun. Can't La- 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 Nata. Annabelle. Can't Annabelle. Annabelle, Annabelle, Annabelle come home. Yeah. Pets yeah I can't be bothered. Pets. 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 Sometimes dead is better. Yeah. Not in the remake sense, it wasn't. Hug your daughter. No, no, thank you. Um, <laughs> when he... <laughs> he br- oh, no, just, just not talk about the brush of hair bit. Okay. Yeah, when he gets, like, stuck. Ah, you <laughs> stapled. That was painful. Like, I felt that. Like, do you know I, who... I felt that in myself. Sorry to interrupt spooky season, but do you know who's just been put on the wish list for a moon night? Go on. Andrew Garfield. <sighs> moon night. Hmm. Split personality, maybe dead cool. Paul can make some jokes about, hey, you used to be Spider Man. Yeah. I'd do that. <coughs> yeah. Back to, it. Back um, to spooky films. Uh, spooky season. I like Corpse Bride. I remember watching that yonks ago. Frank and, was it Frank? Frank and Weenie. Oh, That's a good film. Paranorman. Paranorman. 
Paranormal, paranormal is rubbish, sorry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Come on, you've got the opportunity to talk about like anything you want, like especially Coraline, and you're just like... Gone, there, yeah, done. Like, I don't know. Never, I don't know what to say about it. It's just so much to say about it. It's just a give good film. Plot, give us like the breakdown the of why you like it. The like, breakdown. What does it do? I don't know. To you. It's quite a simple tempo. It's a simple <laughs> film. It's a simple It's a simpleton film. following film, if you know what I mean. Like, you can follow minutes, it easily. Long. It's for simpletons. In other words, it's for simpletons. But it's like really good. I just love it. Like stop motion. I think it was just done really well. Like how they like made the Burton plot. Burton just makes great stuff. And it's when, not scary. It's just creepy. It's just nice. What is his first film? When did he start making? Was it Beetlejuice was his first proper movie? Maybe his first Beetlejuice. big one. Mm. Oh my God. This is going to be so good. Beetlejuice. Sorry. Uh, let me Google Jim Burton. First Filmography. Feature, feature films. Pee Wee's Big Avenger. Directorial debut. No, it was it was Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, excuse no me. Ex- excuse me. Oh. This is other one. I mean, he, I mean, he would never have done that before Batman in 1989. Oh, yeah. I don't know about the order they put it in, though. It's just a bit super. That's weird. Do you want me to show you something on the, in the, can I show you something on the internet? Okay. Okay, sorry. This is going to be good. Uh, Planet of the Apes, Mars Attacks, Sleepy Hollow, Charlie and the Chocolate... Jesus, he directed Charlie and yeah. the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. That's why Johnny Depp's in wishes. it. Uh, oh, oh yeah, them things. I yeah. thought you were in just all need to see that quickly, sorry. Yeah, the friends thing. Cheers, oh, I thought you did Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Uh, oh, what, the new... Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. That's and good, Dumbo. I like that. He did Dumbo. Dumbo. Yeah, he was Dumbo. Like Dumbo. Director of Dumbo. Yeah, Director. that's what, why do you think Michael Keaton was in it? <sighs> good point. Well, I've never seen Dumbo. And why did you think um, mm-hmm. Danny DeVito was in it? To be fair, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. But I never saw the originals. I didn't really think, oh. oh man, I'd love to have seen his third Batman film. Yeah. Did you watch that it. video? The Tim Burton's. Or the, the, I don't yeah. know if it's a while ago or if they did it recently. The yeah, Tim yeah, Burton's yeah. Batman Forever. Yeah. Lando's Mr. Freeze. That would been funny. We're getting off topic, guys. Speech. No, Lando would have been Two Face. That's what I meant, Two Face, not Mr. Freeze. Ooh, Sorry. Can you imagine? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, What's a spooky series? Are they like creepy series? Like Stranger Things obviously supposed to be like. Spooks? <laughs> <laughs> Good Jesus. God, no! Um, Jesus! What is the spookiest stuff on Netflix? The TV? Um, Ooh, Netflix. Haunting of Hill, Hill House. House. I don't want to. No, Neither do I. I got bored of it. Yeah, it was all right. I got bored of it. It was creepy, man. They're it was creepy. Haunting of Blythe Manor. Isn't it Enfield Haunting or anything? Enfield Haunting. That's good because we was near there once. Oh, there's like fame on the sock. <laughs> What else is it? What's that series? What, that's part of The Conjuring, isn't it? The, they do an Enfield one, don't they? Yeah. The Enfield Haunting. Um, that's Conjuring too. Yeah. Ah. Why well, go back in time for that one? Um, Reasons. Money. They kinda, yeah. They kind of got bored. Things. Fire. Should we talk about our favourite series ever? Horror um, related or not? Story <laughs> Union's the best episode ever. <laughs> Buffy Vampire Slayer. Cheesy as hell in today's standards, but that's a creepy the series. The last season's a... Cack, but it is a great show. Yeah, yeah. So Buffy. They're like, "Here's more money. Can you do any more?" And he was like, um, um, "No, <laughs> yes, no." Firefly. I didn't watch it. It's only one season, though, isn't it? Because it got cancelled. It's amazing. Never watched it. You would not believe it. Sorry. Um, spooky. Uh, spooky. I'm trying to think. There's not a lot of. Spooky. There's not a lot of spooky series. Well, maybe, well, there's there's not a lot of angel. It used to freak me out. Paranormal t- first one, but then that's when that just I think proves how bad I was at horror movies because that was you like, was past Poltergeist. I watched past. I I watched both versions of it. We watched it one and two back to back. I jumped three. Did times. you watch the original? Kiss me, fat boy. Yeah, <laughs> literally. I love that. Kiss me, fat boy. Excuse me, ma'am. You have yeah, Prince Albert stuck in a can. You do. Oh, you better let the poor guy out. Ho ha, ho ha. Well, have you seen that new advert with Brian Blessed for Ladbrokes where he's a giant? No. It's so good. I, I thought, like, because I, I was talking to my mate at work, and I was like, no, it's definitely real, and I couldn't find it. And he's like, maybe you dreamt of Brian Blessed being a giant, and this is, like... <laughs> but I found it, and it's wicked. Like, he's a giant, like, he puts a, for the football bit, like, he puts the ball down, kicks it, and the goal just disintegrates. He goes, that's the no way goal! <laughs> like, yeah. Then he throws a dart through a roof, and it hits the whole dartboard. What? Like, Bullseye! 
<laughs> Brian Blessed Fan Fiction again. Makes I need Brian Blessed Fan Fiction because next. Okay. In five days, we get Brian Blessed in Blu ray. Brian in Blu ray? What do you mean? Oh, of course Season we do. Of course we do. Next Monday. And I'm at work. <laughs> well, I'm off to Tuesday, so it's fine. <laughs> I totally forgot about I'm off season Wednesday. 23. Wednesday. <laughs> I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday. What about Monday? Yeah, I'm working 9 6. Okay, so I'll be alone. Well, for like three hours. Yes! You'll be watching my season 23 Blu ray going, I've ruined all the discs, I've wiped them on my ass. No. <laughs> you're watching Coraline. <laughs> watching, oh, Coraline. Watching Coraline and your season box sets in the bin. <laughs> I took all the discs out and threw them over the fence. No more Brian Blessed for you. No. No. Oh. Baloney! Jabroni. Jabroni. And then the week after is the David Tennant Specials Steelbook, which has Dreamland on it Spe- and the Infinite Spe- Quest. Spe- In HD. Yep. But is it worth it? Yes, because you've got, you can only get... for two specials. All right, you, yeah, you're getting them in HD, which you getting didn't get before. You're getting like, them in HD, and you're getting, you know, the other five specials. Which I've already got. Yeah, but these are slimmer, and it takes up less room. I have all the steelbooks. This is my uh, your dif- Yeah, that's your difference. My yeah. obsessive you've got compulsiveness. Them, yeah, you've got you them should, if you can pick them up and pick any of them up. Because they do look a lot better. In the blur the And the blur yeah. And the box looks nice. And the then they all lines. take up hardly any space. And then hopefully they do it with all of the Matt Smith ones and they redo that Peter Capaldi one that I fucking missed. <laughs> I remember looking at the Series 9 one and I was like, I should get that, but Series 9 was shit and then I didn't buy it and then I can never buy it again. Wow. <laughs> 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 we had like a day when we were like just looking at like still books on the 4K and there was like an Avengers one for £90. And I was like... That was that massive um, James Bond one. Yeah. It had like loads of stuff in it. That looked really nice. It had like a. What was the one that had the glow up box thing? Was that Avengers? It was either Avengers or Spider Man. It was like. It was, it was just so good. I, just, I like the, um, the, 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 the Pikachu one, it looks really nice. I like the ones Pikachu. that have postcards in it, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta catch them all, it's Ryan Reynolds. What's better, Deadpool heard... 1 or 2? 2. 2. Yeah, see. Mmm. <laughs> what? Because one. My gut says one. I just, I can't. I don't know. But one makes so many jokes about you know origin stories, but then is a by the numbers origin story. Whereas mm. Deadpool two feels like its own thing, and it's done by the director of John Wick. And they just get right, and they get right yeah. to it. Mm. And when they make that joke, of, like when he does the spinning swords thing from X Men Origins, goes, "Those bullets are really fast." <laughs> Only best friends kill pedophiles together. <laughs> Can I borrow one of those guns? Have you no. watched the other cut of it, the super duper cut? No. Is it good? Super. It's not really that different. No? no. How much in length? That much? Fif- no, 15 minutes, but they <laughs> it's basically reworked scenes, different dialogue changes. Oh, okay. It's not really... Stuff, have really have you long. seen the um, dead, Once Upon a Deadpool? When it's him reading it to... Um, no, that was... No. Thingy tied to the bed. And there's a framing device no. to make it PG-13. No, see, I thought it would, that would be on the, blue, the 4K, but it isn't. I think they'll get a separate release because that was all just for charity. Mm. I hope it does. I need to see it anyway. Definitely, especially before Deadpool 3. Which I is. I love when we get off topic. 2021. 20, at the earliest. 2. 3. If, not, if, if, if ever. It'll be like Ryan Reynolds is the only thing that's going to End of over. next year, they're working in it in secret and give it any day now. Imagine, if it, just it. Ca- imagine, imagine if it just goes, oh yeah, it's coming out tomorrow. <gasps> oh no, if they actually did. Oh. Ruby Sox yeah. actually punched <laughs> the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> no, if they actually didn't go, yeah, it's out, guys, go and see it. Right. But that'd be a cool thing because Deadpool as a character would do that. Is Nightmare Before Christmas? A Halloween a Christmas film. Or a Halloween yeah, film. Halloween film. Oh, oh here God. we go. This is hot Halloween. Topic. Ready? Fight. Halloween. But he's Christmas. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. It's in the name. But Christmas. he's from Halloween Town. Yeah. And he's a Halloween character. I have never watched but that Christmas. all the way through. <laughs> well. Tell no, me right. the plot, dear no, right. child. Well, he's from like, is that him? <coughs> What's he? What? Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington. He has like. He has, does he? I know that because I've seen the pop figures. And he has like the. And Kingdom Hearts is a thing as well. Yes, Kingdom Hearts is a thing. Oh, um, the Bogeyman lives there as well. Oogie the boogie. And he like gets bored of like Halloween. He's like, I don't want to be part of Halloween anymore. Like blah blah. And he goes to like this tree bit, and there's like Easter. And oh, so like it's all, all the holidays exist as fictional places. Yeah. And then yeah. he, like, goes, and he's, like, and that's bit, he goes through the drawer of, like, Christmas, oh. and that's when he does, like, the, what's this? What's this? There's colours uh, everywhere. 
I really wish. Sorry, I really wished um, Brian Blessed did Oogie Boogie, but he didn't. Ken Page, but he sounds like Brian Blessed. Sorry, carry on. That's fine. Um, I don't really know what I'm saying. Oh uh, yeah, so he goes to like the Christmas town, and it's like really cool. And he's like, "What's what's all this? What's happening here?" And then what's happening here, lads? He tries to like plan Christmas, like do Christmas. It's like not. It's not. He didn't steal Christmas like the Grinch, but he like tries to. Be Krampus? Like, be Chris, like be Santa Claus. Uh-huh. But he, like, does it really but... badly, and then, like, everyone from Halloween goes to Christmas, and it's, like, a big mess, and they have to try and sort it out, and it's, like, ugh. And mm. the bogeyman, like, traps him, and it's, like, he's, like, ah. How much do you rate this film? I don't know, like, a seven. Like, is it one of your favourites? Mm. Will you put it on? We know Coraline's... Did you know that? It's reported that a new Night Before Christmas film was in the works with Disney considering either a stop motion sequel or live action remake. Did we, did we talk about that? <coughs> February 2019. We missed that boat. What episode was that? <laughs> uh, 42. 30, 40 something, yeah. I don't know. No, we certainly didn't know. talk about that then. We didn't talk about that then. That's cool. That's cool. If that. They should do Not that. live action remake. I don't think no, that. No, I think no, that no. Well, they wouldn't be able to fit like a good person you, for each Yeah, character. you're able to do more with it. It'd have to be half. If it was live action, you would do half CGI, half. Because you had to mm. get skeleton, skeleton head. Alright, you can paint someone white, but that's not the same. Yeah, it would just look like the geezer from Coco. Mm. Exactly, and they can't do the boogie man like this. No, yeah, oogie boogie! Oh, they could get Brian Blessed to play it, though. With hey, the, that's what I mean. That'd be the biggest improvement. Yeah. Oogie boogie! Oogie boogie! <laughs> they should just do it. Oh my god, they're actually insane. <laughs> Oh, oh no. my throat still hurts. This is Halloween. I don't remember Frank and Weenie. I never saw it. I remember seeing it. There was Frank and Weenie's about the dog. Yeah, that's like Frankenstein but a dog. Yeah. And they put it back together. No, basically, the dog like dies in a car crash. No. Yeah. It's a remake of a short film that Burton did in '84. Oh. The dog gets hit by. I've been renewed, have I? I think, and then like. The, the child is so sad that he tries to revive it like Frankenstein and he thinks it doesn't work but then the dog starts moving again but as time goes on like everything wears off and like the dog's tail falls off and, like, oh so it's like a and then he just ends up burying the dog and then he just dies basically. Oh, so he just the dog dies twice basically so it's like Georgie like he dies multiple times I lied you lied and I died you lied and I died that bit is cri- like the that's creepy, but then when Penny Morris runs like he's a stop motion crackhead, when when it's like that, it's like, what? <laughs> am, I, am I meant to be scared of that? But the bit that was scary was um, in number two, you know when um no, Bill f- Bill Hader's face, like when he's just like over um, what's the guy um, uh mm. the the, lumb- really the, lum- the lumberjack statue man I've forgotten his name oh yeah in, in the park yes he's yeah. in the park he's and got everyone's a big bunch of balloons around. and everyone stops behind him but like the whole thing like the focus is on Bill Hader he turns around the statue's gone and all of a sudden he's just... <laughs> that did scare me yeah. too. 27 years I dreamt of you all those sit ups and you're still gonna die a fat boy. And he actually does um the kiss me fat boy line. You know, still, kiss me fat boy. That was a jump scare in the locker. He's hiding in the locker and he goes, Kiss me fat boy. Yeah. Or when her head or when Bev's head sits on fire. Yeah. Does Gremlins count as a Halloween Gremlins. spooky movie? Because that's uh, a bit creepy. It's creature horror. Is, is it set in Half Halloween? Ew. Yeah. Child's play. Yes, not the new one though. The new one was shite. Oh, but the best kind. You of shit. are my buddy, my oh, special yeah, yeah, friend. friend. Yeah, I am Mark yeah, Hamill yeah. until uh, the end. Chucky the remake. The doll. I don't watch it. The doll that kills people. This the, one is for Tupac. The doll that was previously a serial killer's soul trapped in a doll but now it's a computer animated thing come to life because the studio owns the rights to child's play the movie not the character of chucky whereas chucky's done by don mancini that original timeline will carry on in chucky the television series grinning secrets of the mogwai mogwai the mogwai based on the property for its hbo max no, I don't want a fucking animated gremlins. I want them to be puppets like they were when, like, you feed them, and then there's multiple... You I just didn't like that, right? Don't fear gremlins. When he gets him wet and he, like, screams out in pain, that was even, like, torture. It's like when the cat fell in bath. 
And then like all the little ones pop out and then there's loads of them and then they all eat and then it's like <gasps> the clock stopped. It was after midnight. And it's like <gasps> Don't eat after midnight. <laughs> but yeah, Chucky the what? first few like I like where that series goes. Like into mm. like the weird voodoo sort of I do want I actually thing. want to watch the rest of Chucky. I want to watch the rest of them. Yeah. I should probably watch it. You should. It's very good. You should do it go. If you want a quick round up on it, do the it's Woody's round. Uh, the Big Damn Cast podcast. Big Damn Cast. No, so they do a. Right. Like, it's either. Big, what is it they do? It's like. Uh, they do Chucky Watch, which is where they go for every Chucky film, and one of them has seen them, like, and loves them, one of them has never watched them. Oh, I see. Them. Two different perspectives. Oh, okay. Nightmare <coughs> on Elm Street was. The first two were great, and then it's. Signs of the Lambs. Oh no! Um, boring. Netflix, yeah, it's on Netflix. No, last key and it. <laughs> Haven't seen it. Thor was definitely adopted, because like young Anthony Hopkins, Tom Hiddleston, and Kate Blanchett as Hela, like they could all they were all like powerful dark haired serial killers. And Chris Evans was like, "What's going on here, guys? Thor's adopted. Guys, <laughs> guys. Hey, how you doing? He's like, oh man, Chris Hemsworth's great." Uh, Men in Black was crap though. That's not horror. Oh, no, no, I mean, it was horrible. Men in Black is bits, you know, when the, the shoots an never, alien's head off. Never um, saw it. Never saw it. I didn't get to see it in the end. No. Uh, Evil Dead. Sam that's Raimi, very yeah, good. That's one I want to watch. Evil Dead. Uh, Ash vs Evil Dead is a great series. Yeah. Yep. Is Three it? Is, does it continue? What is it? A spin-off? It sequel? Continues prequel? His story from after the second one? Because there's only two of them in there. Evil Dead. So always there three of them. There's three or four. Four. Oh, there's one. I thought there was only a couple. There's a, there's a few. There's a few of the old films, and Ash vs Evil Dead is great, especially because like Bruce Campbell's just amazing, and it's a good follow-on for his character. And then that's ending or ended. Now. Cabin in the Woods. What? No. What? Did you see it? Cabin in the Woods. Was that a Jennifer Lawrence thing? Jennifer Lawrence. I swear she was in something like that. No, Jennifer Lopez. Right, last week, Jennifer Lopez. Oh yeah, Connor went to see Hustlers and he thought he called Jennifer Lopez Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> it just came out of my mouth. It's like Jennifer... yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. <gasps> oh my god, guess who's dancing to something from Hunger oh. Games? Who? Oh. Saffron Barkin. Saffron Barkin Strictly. Are you very pretty? Saffron Barkin is in YouTube. Saffron. Yeah, she's on Strictly. Is she? Yeah. Yeah. Are you very pretty? So Strictly Come Dancing 2020. Connor will be on Strictly Come Dancing. Of course. Seven. At seven. Yeah, it's movie one. Week this week, so maybe it's I think week. there'll be a lot of horror. There will be because they always do movie week around Halloween. Because didn't Stacey Dooley dance to the Doctor Who theme tune last year, dressed as Jodie Whittaker? Yes. Yeah. And by, yeah. She also did Minions. Uh, and her point. dance partner was dressed as a Cyberman. Yes. <laughs> Not a very good one. No. Sorry, Kevin Clifton, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kevin Clifton. He doesn't know you. He doesn't watch this. You never know. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing? How's practice going? Who's he dancing with this year? Um, Annika Rice. <laughs> Is that Annika Rice? Annika. Ah, uh, yeah. So she's dancing to Hunger Games. Yeah. Cool. Was that the that was they the went connection? to archery for like obviously when they do the VT. So. Oh my god, they're so cool. Um, oh, what everyone else gonna do? Um, probably dance uh, to a song, maybe. Connor's looking up Evil Dead things. Yeah, no, it, your series did end yeah. last year. Yeah, they did end. I knew it had or was about to. Army of Darkness is Evil Dead 3? Yeah. yeah. Why is it not called Evil Dead 3 Army of Darkness? <laughs> because it's That's just, just, just is. But also known as Bruce Campbell versus Army of Darkness. scary. Yeah, because it gets to a point where they met her where he's like Bruce Campbell's in it as an exaggerated version of himself. and. Really good scary series. Uh, scary movie. It's rubbish. Oh, but they're not. Yeah, no, are they actually parody. scary? Is that a comedy? It's parody. parody. Yeah. Scream, yeah. Scream was good. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. sort of spooky, like Saw? you know, like what's it called? Yeah. The, oh, yeah. What are the popular pins of Saw? Because that's coming back. Um. It's coming back. Yeah. Chris Rock's doing a reboot. I don't think I've, finished, nice. I don't think I've finished one of those films. Good, I also don't like the ride at Fort Park. So. I don't like the horror la- horror maze at Fort Park. I cried. It was just strobe ride. lights, and I thought, that's it. I'm dead. <laughs> this is where I die, at a theme park. <laughs> Love me, Daddy. I wonder if people actually died at Fright Night. Fright Night's good. We should go Fright Night. We should go Fright Night. 
I would dress. Do you know what I want to dress up as this year? I'm gonna go as Georgie. Yeah. Georgie with the red balloon. Mm, yeah, and the big yellow raincoat. Why was there any And I'm gonna cut my arm off. <laughs> and then we'll set buttons on your eyeballs, and I'll cut my arm off. But that's not how she doesn't. She never gets buttons on her mm. eyeballs. The only person that has buttons on her eyes is the doll. Yeah. So I'm not going as the doll, am I? Yeah, that's the, that was the thing when you got the pop figure and mum was like, why has it not got buttons on its eyes? Uh, because Coraline never actually got buttons on her eyes because then she would have died. she'd be with the mother. She would be, be dead. A ghost child. Like. Ghost child. Connor can go as Freddy Krueger. Wait, we're um, all going from a different movie. That Michael Myers. Sense. Michael Myers. I'll be a Pennywise. Or even Jason. Jason! Jason. I do Jason. You do Jason. <laughs> I'll be Beetlejuice. Does he sing in an acapella group? I used to have Beetlejuice no. trousers. Oh, for God's sake. What? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. This is going to be Beetlejuice is a good... Beetlejuice is a good movie. Movie. Michael Keaton's amazing and that's the Tim Burton thing. Not watch Beetlejuice. Hands. Not watched either of them. That's I still need to watch Burton. He might be the next marathon thing I watch is Burton. He's a fantastic director. A bit crazy. Married yeah. to Helen Bottom Carter. Not anymore. I think. We should definitely go for it and all dress up as different things. Yes. We should dress up as every different version of Pennywise. Like, I'll go as Tim Curry Pennywise. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Is your refrigerator running? Oh, you better go catch it before it runs away. Last chance, tells you. Mm, you gotta get out. Because like, if you, surely if you go in like really good costume, the people won't scare you because they think that you're scaring other people. Yeah. And then you kill them. That is a hack. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> no. When you go to Fright Night, just don't make a big thing about it otherwise they chase you. Yeah, exactly. They like, sense hey. fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate, hate leads, leads to suffering. suffering. I want to go on that VR <coughs> ghost train thing. Oh, I Darren Brown. I called up, I called up for that. I queued up for that I twice. called up for that. Hello, is, is, the, is the ghost train available? I queued up for it twice and it broke down twice. Yeah. So, so you haven't been Darren Brown yet. No, I went on The Walking Dead right. It's very boring. And what went. happens on The Walking Dead thing? You literally you walk. get so you walk to like, you see dead people. <gasps> you walk like in this dark like Walk like a man Talk like a man. Can you all interrupt me? Copyright. Thank so you, you go into like there's a group of you and you go into a room and you get like prepped it's like there's a zombie invasion, blah blah blah. Oh blah, blah, my blah, god. And their alarms go off and then you walk through a tiny hallway that's you like get black. shot. And then you go on the ride, which the ride is stupid because of the thingy. And then it stops, and you're like, they, you can get it off stops. now. And then it's like, there's things that fall down. There's like cages, and there's like cages? people in the cage, and they just fall down on you. Cages? And then you get off, and you have to walk through the cafeteria with like the ambulance in there. And... But there's no ambulance? people in there scaring you. Bloody hell. Wow. That, that sounds, sounds like, like murder. Murder. <laughs> cages and an ambulance. Murder. Jesus. No, but it was more like it was very boring. I saw the ride and I remember because I had my eyes closed the whole way through. So. That's when it goes up like directly yeah. and then comes in. No, when, it, when we were in the dark and we went upside down in the dark and the ride, I had my eyes closed. From the minute like we set off, I knew I was going to do that because I didn't want to go on it. It's but. a good ride. It's okay. It's not the best ride at all, but Nemesis. I feel like a theme park podcast is... Nemesis and Stell. A theme park podcast. Is, is a very niche market. <laughs> Oh, Today we're talking business terms. We were talking about Chessington. We were talking well, about that in business the other day. Niche market. Yeah, how we, yeah, Ruby's doing business so that she can run this business. I can run this business. And I can YouTube. just and I can just be CEO, and just go, button mash. Well, I'm not doing it for that purpose, but like it's good to have business. But you can. Yes, I could. I'm not just going to deny that I could. Sorry, I'm just doing that. Yeah, it's fun. If you get the chance to take business, do it. Yeah. Educate yourself. I did it wrong, sorry. Yeah, it's actually really good. It's long. But Wait, good. is that what you were studying at um, college, business? Yeah. Business I studies. Did business. What level business? Three. Level 63. <laughs> this week, we kill Richard Branson and absorb his power. But, like, people talk about him so much. Like, we don't even know <laughs> We don't we don't do him because everyone knows about him already. He always talks out. Do you talk about Bob Iger? No. Um, we didn't talk. We don't talk about people yet. We just talked about like companies, like companies, Cadbury's and Cadbury's and Pasty Sheep. Soon to be Mario mentioned. Mario. 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 That's out on. That's out Mario on. Mario Kart. That's an app now. Yeah, Mario Kart. Store. Did I'll you install it, I'll install it now. Have you heard um, what Nintendo were doing for the Switch? What? Oh, what off? else haven't they done for the Switch? <laughs> a Switch off. Switch off. They're switching and they're doing... They're what? A brain training on Nintendo Switch. 
Oh, brain what? training. Brain training. That, used that was to on be the DS, weren't it? One yep. of the best DS oh. games because you could like put everyone's scores in, and then like when you take it out and then put your it brain in. Your brain age. What's your brain age? Oh. You'd be like, I'm really stupid, or I'm really smart. I'll give that a go then. Brain training was funny. It was really good. Yeah. I love brain training. We could storm that now. Well, I yeah. definitely could because I was like seven when I used to do that. Oh, I was like seven and I used to play a game. Mm -hmm. um, look at me, mummy. I used to play loads of Hannah Montana thing. Uh, oh. And they're doing musical. and they're doing like a new version yeah, of Nintendo. Uh, they're doing like a Nintu new Nintendo thing where it's like cats and dogs. Oh, well. Oh. You can have pets. It's gender on the neutral. Gender neutral then. Species neutral. <laughs> Species neutral. When that thing, when that game on Xbox 360 Plus or whatever Which, which it was, game? Like There's loads of games. You know that monkey game where you'd have your own monkey? You mean our pet on PlayStation 3? That one. That was the oh. same thing. Where you put like the thing down and you'd feed it and then come Oh, not Connect it. Animals. Connect Adventures or whatever. Connect Animals. Connect no, Adventure a... was good. That was on Xbox 360. Mm. Yeah. That's that thing well, where you'd, you'd like... like... You had the PlayStation I and then you had this like sort of pad and you could feed it with your iPad and you would play with it, like tickle it, cut its hair... Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, shampoo yeah. it. But it could also die, which is a bit of a. Um, you could get it killed. You can. Yeah, die. probably it's probably like Tamagotchi level. They are remastering Mafia. Oh, okay. One and two. Two don't need to remaster. One does. Um, my version of three needs to work. Yeah, I need to play that game. Yeah. What time do you leave? Twenty-two. There you go. You've got plenty of time. We're, yeah, we're almost finished. Jesus. Life's taking over for other priorities, jeez. The hobnobs are nearly through, and unless anyone has... We'll leave until we finish the hobnobs, that's what we'll do. If anyone okay, you will. <laughs> has anything to say, she will. Don't, don't even tempt her. Oh, Avengers, Avengers Endgame Game Game actor still wants to play Moon Knight. Endgame actor who? Who's this? Ross Marquand. Who's that? Who's he? Red Skull. Oh, okay. Yeah, he wants to play Moon Knight. All right. Yeah. And he's because he's a great impressionist, and that's your why they bought, they bought, that's why they yeah your influence. Your he's inspiration. Where I draw my power from. Your inspiration. He's like the one song. they bought in to replace Hugo Weaving because Hugo Weaving was like not doing movies anymore, or I don't want in my contracts, which is why I stopped being Megatron. Hmm. So and he sounds exactly like Hugo Weaving from First Avenger, and that's scary. Spooky. Skeletons and shivers. Spooky, scary season. Spooky, scary season. But yeah, I'd be up for it, him playing Moon Knight. I'd like Daniel Radcliffe that was mentioned before. Yeah, why not? Because I want someone Different. that's against type to mm. be mental okay. and unbalanced. I want John Wick to be Keanu there. Reeves. I want Keanu Reeves in it. As Moon Knight. And I wouldn't have him as Moon Knight. I'd have him as... We've done this cast. Sunlight. I'd have him as Nova. Iron Fist. <laughs> Nova? <laughs> yeah, Nova. Nova. Um, Iron Fist. <laughs> no, Chris Pine is Nova. Then we've had all the Chrises in all yeah. of the MCU. Uh, Chris Pine is Iron Fist? Uh, just Viola there. Davis, Iron Fist. Viola Davis. <laughs> that sounds like a Sean uh, Gunn. That sounds role. like a Sean Gunn. <laughs> King Sean, Shark. <laughs> King Shark, that's Viola that. Davis. Margot Robbie's actually playing King Shark and Viola Davis is playing Rick Flagg. But I feel like that's about that's about it for this week's episode. Oh, of next week, stay tuned to find out how Peter Parker dies. Yeah, we're um, going to announce it. Here yeah, because we never because I never got to finish it. But no, I'll we'll save it. No, 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 I'll save it. it. I'll save it. We do. We've got save time. It. We've got save time it. to kill. Save it. We've got time to kill. No, mate, don't worry. I'll save it. Look, we've got time to kill. I'll save it. You, you started saying it in this one. I want you to finish it. <laughs> oh my god, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I thought you'd finished saying it. That's why I've no, moved on. No, yeah, on. no, because she interrupted me like two or three times. She, you, yeah, she, Hulk, interrupted me three times. <laughs> she, <laughs> you haven't got a cousin called Bruce, have you? <laughs> yeah, have you? That'd be a bit coincidental. Yeah, sorry if I. <laughs> what, what a coincidence. Go, Multiverse of Madness, Civil War comic, Peter Parker. Oh look, I'm Spider Man, everybody. <laughs> Oh, look, what happens in the comics a year later? Oh. He gets erased. Who erases the identity? Doctor Strange. Yes. Well, so that's how that's what's going to kill him. Not necessarily because multiverse of madness, weird shit from portals. If everything from the multiverse comes through, because this could be like the biggest movie, anything could really happen in that film. Mm -hmm. There's somehow, somehow, some way to speed up the Miles introduction. It'll be a tragic, sad moment, unexpected. He's gonna like because of. Far from home is ending. And then Kevin Feige will shoot him. <laughs> well, I won't get Kevin that. Feige comes John through. Wick will shoot him. Kevin Feige comes through a portal with a gun and just shoots Tom Holland. 
No, because it's the ending to Far From Home. It's pretty much Civil War with him coming out being like, I'm Spider-Man, except it's slightly different. Yeah. So it's just strange he's going to reverse it. But instead, because of multiverse, I don't exactly know the fine details, but basically he's going to accidentally erase Peter Parker from his existence. The deal will expire in 2021. This is how you introduce Miles. This is how you introduce Miles. Peter can untragically demise and die somehow Mm. through some timey-wimey magic shit gone wrong gone wrong so wibbly wobbly, timey wobbly. and we can have Miles shoved in as another Spider-Man maybe in his place Shut or something him. you know you can have more Spider-Man than maybe shake a sticker wow now someone from work suggested I was like oh, okay for how that is yeah. deep Dope. random that is deeper than a so kiddie pool random. ladies and gentlemen but uh no you don't agree with that no I just I'm thinking about it I like it I don't want it to happen but I like there's it there's fine details obviously you need to just, like Sit down and think about it and like, I mean, can it really happen? Day, but... It's Benedict Cumberbatch killing Tom Holland. And Ow. that's what we all want to see. And if you want to see more of this, you like... Tune in next week because we're going to have Tom Holland here. I think I'm <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell him to his face how he's going to die. Be like, yeah. I really want to meet like, Tom hey, Holland. Hey guys, I'm Tom Holland. It's like, you're from Kingston, by the way. But um, yeah, if you want to know things... I was made in Kingston. Things, or, um, I was born in Kingston, but know, made in yeah. the Marvel MCU. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Lovely. That's a Royal Navy <laughs> gag there. I didn't expect that today. Um, like this video. Like, comment, comment subscribe. Like Join us next week for to more. To kill Tom Holland. To kill Tom Holland. Uh, where can to they kill e- or not to where kill. Where can they email into? Nerdbiblecontact at gmail, myspace.com. Nerdbiblecontact at gmail.com. Forward slash at the sheep on the socials. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. Um, we'll have headshots add done us. soon. Not add we'll us, add, add to the whole thing. Is add it Peter Parker? You'll yeah. meet us. Wait. Yeah. We have a big live action video in the works and many more. And Matt still needs I'm to not give in me it. those fucking audio files so I can put oh, this mate, on SoundCloud. Just drive through his house and just get it off of him. Just, Nicky, Nicky's just drive USB. through his house. Yeah, yeah just Nicky's USB. Might as well at this point. But he'll know because, well, he doesn't listen to this, does he? No, obviously not. But, um, if you're listening to this. It's too late. To apologise. It's too me. late. For food and water will run out in four days. Have a damn, have a damn, have a damn, have a Bye. Ow. Yeah. Stay pasty. Stay. <laughs> Don't get his hand, lads. <laughs>